Yeah. G'day folks, this is a coffee bush kid in Central Vic. I'm back out playing in the whorehound again, out near where I got the thrip eye the other week. Let's see what we can find, eh? Hey? Uh, I've just got this little bit to the sort of roadway wheel tracks there. That's my last little bit. I got the threepences up there. I got a sixpence just up there. And down here, 21, 21 was 21, 22, fairly solid. Just in around there. There we go. Let's dig that up and see what, what it is. It should be a coin of some description, I would reckon. But then that could just be wishful thinking on my part, as per usual. Sounds nice, doesn't it? Could be a bottle top. Or, I've just seen something. Ready? Oh, what's that look like? Oh yeah. That'll be a half penny. I would reckon. There's a rue tail. Yep. Yeah, let's get that up here. Should be able to just wipe this one. Oop. There we are, 1946. 1946 halfpenny. We'll take that on a lovely afternoon. Isn't it funny? I seem to get... You know, we've done all along through here. Down this part, I get predominantly copper coins. Sort of halfway through and up, I get the silvers. But we'll just work our way through. So I've sort of, if we move over here, you can see this tree. And if we go whoom, straight through, straight up to there, I've got to do this side. So I'll work my way up to that clump of trees through the whole hand and that, and we'll, we'll see how we go. But, uh, there's another one to the collection anyway. And we'll take it too. I will just reenact this. I haven't touched it. Good, solid, repeatable signal. Put your foot down there. Scrape it to go over. And what have we got? We'll pick that up. Pick that up every day. Uh, 1948. I think that says. Yes, 1948, there's another half penny, one half penny, uh, I think it was that pole there, so that's not very good, there we go, we've got another E, I've opened it up, it was more solid, 21, 22, I've opened it up, flicked out. So I can see it, and just in a minute, you're all gonna see it. There it is right there. Another E. Oh, this one looks a bit darker, like it's been through a fire. But we will. There we go. Ah, another 1948, if we get in focus, 1948 half penny. Another E again. I'm getting a uh, a jumper of Rue half pennies. There you go. The wind's just popping up. I hope it's not too bad for you. Right there was where I got the half penny. And now, another one. 
and see where that little mound, triple mound of roo poo is. Hmm. There we go. I reckon there's something there too, but we'll have a go. Get that one first. So this one we'll do all together. Are we looking at a little coin spill? We'll find out, won't we? There should be something in there. Make a noise. Oop. There we go, it's just off to the side. Anyone see that? Oh, oh, that looks a bit bloody silvery, doesn't it? Oh. Anyone ready? Oh. Ground sniff as well. Oh, how glorious. Hello, George. Hasn't he come out a treat? Look at him. What have we got? That's a 19, oh, 42, I can even see that in the finder, 1942 wheat thrippence, oh, how good's that hey, and it's come out in good nick, there we go, oh, this place just gives and gives and gives, I love it, that's why I thought I'd go over it again, and, and this is why I have come over it. Look at all that bloody whorehound. Um, no matter how good you are, over time you will get better. And you'll think of other things to do and other settings to put in and other ways to, to swing or, or actually really, really purposely grid and make sure your overlap's all good and you're going slow and you're relieving the ground of bigger sounding targets so the littler sounding targets come through and this is what you get rewarded with coin after coin after coin another thing to remember is always check your holes as i say make sure your hole is thoroughly cleaned out before it gets filled in I just happened to swing over just before I filled it. And just off to the edge, I got a 22. Be very rude to leave that sitting in the ground, wouldn't it? Oh, you ripper. There we go. That is George V. He's come out to play today as well. Magnificent. What have we got? Drum roll, please. And it is. It is. Can anyone see what that is? Is that 23? Yes, it is. A 1923 threepence. Oh, the day just gets better and better. Well, this is the hole under the roo poo. Very handy little marker stuff it is. And we are. Just in there. Oh, here we go. The pinpointer just pinpointed it. Uh, I think I'm looking in the right spot. Yep, there we go. What is that? Yep. Oh, yeah. Man, if I hadn't had a buddy silver fix, this is certainly, certainly going the way. George again. So this will be, because it was uh, 22, 24, this will be pre-1946. So I haven't seen the date. What have we got? 1943 proves the theory. That's brilliant. Oh, I don't reckon I've got too many 1943 thrippances. I'm just trying to see a mint mark, and I don't think there is one. So this could be one of the Melbourne mints, which 
is very good. Anyway, that's another E. Always go back over places you've been. I think I'm going to bang on about this for a little while because I'm just finding so much stuff going back over where I've been in trashy spots. Get rid of your big sounding sounds out of the ground and the littler targets get a chance to breathe. And they probably might be, if you're lucky, silver. Well, after our half pennies and threepences there, when you come over here and you get this signal. Where is it? There. Certainly gone off in the hole. Mm, might not be a coin. No. It is something. Just down in there. I hope I didn't mangle it with the bloody spade. Oh. What's that? Ha ha! Oh, I think some bugger did bloody nick it. You ready? Oh, I think some bugger did bloody get it. Yeah, that's me. Oh, I've not done that for a bloody long while. Poop. Oh, George the sixth. We had a sixpence. Nineteen forty-two, fifty-two. I can't see. What's that look like to you? Maybe it's a five. Hmm. Or a four. I don't know. But I'm a bit spewy on that. That was not good digging. I think it's four. Yeah, 1942. <sighs> anyway, enough of that. We found it. Always good to find. Oh, it's a big coin. It's a big coin. It's a thick coin. I'm gonna say it's 44. There we go. 1944, Rue Penny this time. Not really faring well. Anyway, we found it and it was in the ground. See that? Right, we should take that. Oh, she's a little bit crusty, but it is a 1917 Commonwealth One Penny. So that's all right. We'll take that. A salami in. No good to know the man or beast. What about that? Oh, saw it move then. Another round here at the ground. Well, I had before, I thought we had a penny. But it's just a cap off something. Good. Let's see if we can find something better. When something sounds like this, you've got to be riding the winner. Buddy. Gal. We might leave that one where it is. In the rays of the afternoon light. Oh, bloody not. <sighs> Ha 
that will probably be one of them. <laughs> uh, no real marks on it. All right, that's one down. Let's try this one. Gotta have a bit of promise in it. Maybe it's a couple of bloody coins together. Who knows? Who knows what our luck's gonna be? Or, or it might just be a hook. Now that works well with the pig sty sausage making theory. Let's see what else we can find. Well there's an 1819 signal that's not a, uh, a coin. Something Melbourne. I can't read it at the moment so we won't waste our time on it as such. But uh, we'll check it out at home. See what piece of machinery it's off. And we got this was mostly 16, but there was a 15 and a 17, just... These are 17. Yeah, all those numbers. Right. Can we see anything? What about now? There we go. That'll be another beautiful little thrippence. Though, that one looks a bit interesting. I have to clean it up. We'll see what we've got. Here we are. We are back with our 1948 thrippence. Let's have a little bit of fire wear. George. We'll see how it all goes. But there we go. Explain the numbers. Very good to find. Let's see if we can find anything else. Well, in amongst the whore hound, 22, 24. There we go. There we go. You have to love the um the old thrippence magnet there. There we are. Wheat thrippence. What's that, 1941? Beautiful! Another one! Ugh. Life is good, isn't it? Yeah, right, we'll keep going. I've got to go soon. We'll get put back together again. Alright. Might be able to fluke one just before we leave. Right, my alarm's gone off. I have to go, but we got this. I've dug it up. And when you turn over a clod and you met <laughs> with that, <sighs> the day's good. Look at that, another E. Uh, who's that, George? Beautiful. Yeah, it was a high tone, so it'll be pre-46, and that's a 41. And we need to go. A 41 again. Uh, look at that. How good. Beautiful. So keep in mind, it's always good to fill in some of your day detecting. But remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. We'll catch you next time.